So hello everyone. We're coming with you today with a little round the world update. So Bradley and I have been chatting and obviously as you know with Covid travel is kind of it's it's possible but it's a little more restrictive and our plan was to head east through Central Asia to basically get to South Korea to ship our van to the US. But there are still no signs of the land borders in Central Asia opening. So we don't really want to wait around. So we've come up with a altered plan. <laughs> Pretty genius. We're basically going to go the other way. Yes. <laughs> rather than being stuck in, um, like not stuck because Turkey and Asia looks amazing, but rather than being sort of maybe limited in the country that we can go to for a year, our plan is instead to go the other way to a country that we know is very much open hopefully will be as of now still as of, open. Yeah. which is america and yes. then canada the plan will be it's now christmas time or december which is where i'm wearing my jumper and our lights are on and our decorations are up plan is to go home enjoy christmas quick update on that in a second and then spend a month or so planning all of the technicalities that are going to be involved in shipping helen to the states states or canada Depend just depending on what the situation is, but at least we have two options there. The plan is that we do that and we make our way slowly but surely the whole way through Central America, South America, basically the way we would have done after Asia, but we're doing it first. <laughs> and then from South America, once we're done there, the van will be shipped up to Asia, back mm -hmm. through Asia, and then that's essentially the end of the trip. So it, the trip's no different. It's still going to take a couple years. We're still going to do all the same countries. And all the countries we've done now in Europe aren't wasted because it just means that when we come back through Asia, essentially the trip will be almost done. It'll just be a case of Turkey to England. Just not really a good or a bad update. It's just an update. The trip is still exactly the same, just the countries are the other way around. But Just thought we'd let you know in case you're confused. But in the meantime, we will still have some really good content coming up on the YouTube channel. There will be the rest of the Europe trip that we're doing, um, which includes a really cool road trip in Romania. But also, we're taking our niece to Lapland. Or, or really, our niece is taking us to Lapland yeah. again. Yeah, we've been to Lapland and we loved it. And we needed an excuse to go back. So we're, we're taking our niece with us. So she's three and a half now. She's at that age where, you know, Santa is like getting really magical. She fully understands Christmas. She loves it. Yeah. Um, so we're making yeah. our way back to England, but we're not taking the van to Lapland. We are flying to Lapland. Also, we're going to be making some minor upgrades to the van and we will share them with you as they come as well so we'll definitely still be uploading content during the period where we're getting ready to go to america so um so yeah you can still expect some good stuff on the channel <laughs> by the way if you've been following our journey so far through europe then thanks so much for getting this far yes and we just want to make it clear this is not the end there is so much more to come and we are super excited. Yes. Um, and one little thing in case this is completely confusing after the whole dog situation. And if you haven't seen the puppy situation, there will be a little link to it up here in one of these corners. Check that out. Watch it. So after that, we didn't film as much, but we filmed a little bit. So I'm going to add the footage in at the end of this video, just so you're not confused as to how we got to Romania. And then we'll be back to regular scheduling with the Romania video and you can you can understand how we got there. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions about our new plans or whatever, just drop a comment below and we'll happily. And if you have any tips on shipping a van to yes. America, insurance, by countries, insurance, just anything, yeah. <laughs> anything about us as UK citizens going to America for that long? Well, Irish, Irish and UK, UK going to America for so long and Canada. If you have any tips on data and Wi-Fi in America, yes. while camping in America, let us know below. We are we are going to be on a big learning phase. Yeah. So any information is good information. Yeah. But yes, for now we will uh, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> so we are almost at an end at our time in Serbia, and we are one of our final sites, which I think actually is one of the coolest. Um, go back. Golly batch. Yeah, look, I'm looking at the name of it, probably said it wrong. Fortress, and it looks really cool. Check this out.
we've come to our final stop in Serbia. Yes, we'll find the final attraction. Yeah. And it's called Lepenski Vir. And apparently it could be the oldest settlement in all of Europe. People say it's 9,000 BCE apparently. So which is mad. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. So this is a reconstruction of housing at the town. Send a brat, it's a bit small for me. Spending our morning exploring the old town of Bucharest. Yeah. 